Captain of the fairy band, Helena is close at hand. I'm understanding about every other word of this shit. Bert! Hey. What happened to your face? Uh, long story. And it's summer night's dream? What are you gonna try out for the show? Kind of, so maybe. Well, you know, if you're serious about it, I'm kind of good at that stuff. Really? Have you heard of songs? She's only like the next Josie Mitchell. Joni Mitchell. I, I can actually use some help. So, tomorrow, coffee. Okay, coffee'd be great. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> If you're serious, I'm kind of good at that stuff. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Did you what? see Santa staring at me again? Oh, I know. I told you. OK, so the first thing we need to do is pick you out a monologue for your audition. Yeah, this is good. My Sander, right? Uh, she sees not Hermia. Hermia, sleep thou there. No, and wait, never no. mayest thou. You can't, like, run all the words together. It doesn't work like that. But that's OK. We'll, we'll start from the beginning, OK? It's, it's kind of hard to understand, but once you get into it, the story is actually kind of good. So, Hermia, this girl here, she's very rich and beautiful, and she lives with her overbearing parents in Athens. Now, Hermia has everything a girl could ask for. Cool clothes, nice complexion, and her pick up pretty much any guy she wants. But of all the guys in the greater Athens area, Hermia's heart belongs to the handsome young nobleman, Lysander. This would all be perfect if it weren't for Demetrius. Hermia's father already promised her hand to him, and he's just as charming and handsome as Lysander. Maybe even more so. Not to mention, Demetrius will stop at nothing to make Hermia his bride. This pretty much leaves Lysander screwed. All right, got it. Uh, you, you make it uh, very easy. We just started. Kelly. I'm not exactly trying to win an Oscar here. I'm just trying to get my girlfriend back. 